even though I've been in front of a classroom for quite a while and have given uh, this talk in the past, I still get really nervous after 30 years of public speaking. So this is my crazy pink garden hat. <laughs> um, and it's crazy to be planting in July. I know you all know this from the heat. But I want to start with some good news. I have some black-eyed peas that I had grown in my community garden in San Antonio. Only a handful, couldn't do much with them. Brought them here, they got wet. I decided that I would put them in the test bed last Wednesday. And by Sunday morning, they had sprouted. And yesterday evening, they had their first pair of real leaves on them. So if we can do that in the hottest part of the year in South Louisiana with enough water, enough prayer, and enough volunteers, then we can make the community, the garden community, a reality in Eunice, and we can do a lot of things with that project. That's what I'm here to talk about. You can go home, out into your yard, and touch a leaf and see the miracle of horticulture, basically. Without that, we wouldn't be alive, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be eating black-eyed peas and spaghetti. Um, but gardeners don't always have such good luck, uh, and not everyone has a space, a suitable space to garden. We're blessed if you live in an apartment complex or uh, a block where houses are real close together or under shade trees, you may not have such a good place to garden. And sometimes things go wrong either by human error or by natural disaster or both. So there is a lot of sustenance in gardening, um, emotional, spiritual, aesthetic, as well as horticultural and, and physical for us. And in a community of gardeners, those benefits are multiplied. All right, so what is community gardening after all? You know what a garden is, you know what a community is. What is community gardening? People have worked, uh, written, grown, put stuff on the internet, taken lots of pictures about community gardens. Here are the basics. What is it? Journalists, you'll appreciate this. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. Community gardening is an endeavor which brings local people together outside to grow plants. And there's a philosophy behind it, too. As Gil says, it's not just planting things. There are some values in community gardening, which, by the way, answer all of your, your questions in your four-way test. Uh, it, truth, fair, goodwill, better friendships, and beneficial. And you can probably figure out without my even telling you, yeah, gardening will fit those things. Uh, and our community garden, as our most community gardens, is organic. That is, we don't spray Roundup on it. Okay. Um, because we don't need to, and I'll say a little more about this in a bit. We don't need to poison it because the practices that we use are sustainable, they're organic, they're natural. And yeah, sometimes we are going to have to go out there and maybe spray some garlic pepper spray <coughs> on the plants, but that's, that's not poison. <laughs> okay, right. Well, then it'll just season up your tomatoes later for later on. Right, right, right. Um, so it is those things. It is communal and social. Not only do the plants get together, the marigolds and the tomatoes hang around together, but we all get together and people who would not normally see one another at meetings like this, for example, do get to meet at the garden. Little kids, older people, people from the south side, people from the north side, people from Crowley, people from Mamu, people who are in school, people who are in businesses, people who are in churches, you know, and when we have garden um, uh, open work afternoons, everybody can come out. And so you get to see people that you don't normally see and you will have a connection with them automatically because you'll be outside, you'll all be sweating or you'll all be chilly, you'll all have your hands in the dirt, or your hands on a tomato or something like that. So there's already a connection there. You don't have to worry about you know, what to say or what to do. There will already be some community, some society there. And finally, it's healthy and it's productive. Again, not only are you growing some actual produce, but you are improving your physical health if only by being outside and seeing other human beings and other plants and other um, trees and surroundings. 
So at LSUE, we started talking about having a big community project in Eunice that would pull the college together, would pull groups like you guys together, would pull people who don't have their own gardens together so that we could be having this great natural, productive, communal, et cetera, experience. Now we've got the mayor's office. Uh, we've got Eunice High School, lots of local volunteers, the Bulb and Blossom Club, I'm talking to them next week. St. Landry Parish Recycling has already donated a big pile of compost. Uh, we've got people from the community sawing, donating lumber and sawing wood and, and putting them together. So there are a lot of people involved in this already. Okay. Where is the garden? Madeline, is there a map down there? Mm -hmm. um, it is on West Ash Street. No, you can't see that. I think it's on your flyer. Okay, but it's on your flyer. Everybody has okay. flyer. West Ash Street, that's between Jake Street and Bobcat, so it's basically across from the high school. It's the old Guillory Development Center. Okay, so how many people bought plants from the old Guillory Development Center? See? Lots of people. So it's not going to be a nursery out there as it was before. We are actually going to have boxes of soil on the ground with plants that will be growing. So not individual pots so much as little tiny garden, uh, little tiny gardens. About this size? About the size of this table? Okay. So about four by eight for the most part. Four feet by eight feet. You say that's not very much room. Okay. Well, it'll be either 6 or 12 inches high, so you can grow some deep root crops like that. And with a technique that's called square foot gardening, in one square foot of space, which is slightly bigger than this, you can grow a tomato plant. In another square foot, you could grow an eggplant. In another square foot, you could grow 16 lettuce plants. Okay. In another square foot, you could grow some marigolds. Uh, some oregano. So, and that's only four square feet. That's only as big as this podium. You've already got three kinds of vegetables plus some flowers. So, it doesn't take as much room in a raised bed community setting, and that makes it easier to work. And that means you have to use fewer resources. You know, once the beds are built and filled with uh, soil and amendments, um, and, and you put mulch on the top, you won't have to do a lot of weeding. You won't have to do a lot of uh, in, insecticide. Okay. You go out there and you enjoy your, your plants and you harvest them and you eat them and you pass them around to your <coughs> friends and you bring you along to share and you do all these sorts of things.